Hey folks, Rob here. Back for the second part of this video with the uh, the Penta uh, combination uh, red dot laser combo. And I thought we'd mount this on the Taurus TX-22. I already have a light on my my Gerson and my and this gun is unloaded. It is empty. There's nothing in the chamber. The magazine is empty. So this gun is safe to handle. Uh, Sins I already have weapon lights on most of my other guns. I thought we'd mount this on this. Well, it worked pretty good. That little toggle switch falls right at the bottom of that. Uh, right at the bottom of the trigger guard. So I also uh, realized that this little tool that they give you to remove the um, battery covers also used in tightening this to your gun itself. So you get it in the Picatinny rail sp spot that you want it and it's just a matter of tightening this down, getting it snug. You know this is plastic and plastic so you do have a, a kind of a brass washer on the other side but you don't want to over tighten this this is a 22 so this it's not going to have much uh muzzle uh blast or you know a lot of movement to it anyway so that works out really nice your little toggle switch is right there under the finger guard so you can still uh, get to your toggle switch to toggle between your settings uh, there it is with the flashlight laser combo on. No, that's just the light. Uh, no, that's light and laser. There, yeah, you can see the green dot. There's the green dot of the laser. Uh, this is a fairly bright little uh, light. Uh, we'll take it into a, a darkened room and we'll take a look at it and see what it looks like. So let's go somewhere where it's a little darker and uh, we'll, we'll test this thing out. So here we are in my bedroom. It's not super dark in here, but it's it's dark enough that I think we can get a, a good representation of how well this little unit lights up. There's your laser and your light. Now, it does look like this laser is going to have to be adjusted because it looks to be pointing to the left, uh, but we'll have to do some adjusting on that. The little light is definitely bright enough to see across a room to clear a room with uh, so yeah definitely bright enough for home use you know this is not a, a long range light by any means but uh, yeah this would work uh, in the average home it's bright enough it's not overly bright um, I don't think it has strobe I'm, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have strobe let me check here and double tap the no you hold in maybe no no strobe but you know it's a, a, a nice little tactical light uh, laser combo green green is in my opinion the easiest to see so anyway guys just thought I'd bring you a look at that can't see it from the side there <laughs> we'll go back in and finish this video up so guys, there it is mounted on the gun itself. That is the the Penty combination uh, uh, green dot laser flashlight combination. Now I do find this uh, button just a little bit of a stretch to hit. It's a, a little further out, uh, but you know it is is reachable. I tend to use it with my off hand anyway, so uh, the fact that it falls right under my thumb is is great. But, uh, yeah, just it's a neat little unit. I'm going to have to look up those batteries and see uh, how they come. And uh, not that this will ever get used a lot, but we are going to take it out at some point. And we're going to bore sight all these uh, laser handgun combos. And uh, one evening when it's dusk, we're going to take them out and put some shots to them and see how close they are. So, anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. Thanks for taking the time. Um, Give me that thumbs up, leave a comment. If you're not a subscriber, feel free to subscribe. I appreciate everybody does. 
and until the next video we'll see you guys later